right, we continue Central Dolphin School Board Region 2. Please welcome to the podium, Ryan Gonder. Thanks, Mr. Russell. We appreciate you taking the time to moderate this event and last night's uh, CD Budget Town Hall event, you know, two in a row. And I thought I'd never be able to see you outside of the weather, <laughs> but here you are. Special thanks to Bob and his team at Town Civic, the Area Civic Association. And I know a lot of effort goes into planning an event like this, so we really do appreciate all the organization's hard work that made this such a successful evening. One, su one suggestion for next time, allow the candidates to walk and play some music while we're walking out. Church <laughs> 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 no, introduction music, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, so five minutes isn't a lot of time, so let me get right to it. My name's Ryan Gonder, as, and I'm running for school board director in Region 2 of Central Dolphin School District. I live in Kings Crossing off Nyes Road, and I'm an attorney practicing state and local tax litigation for a law firm, Van Allen LLC in Camp Hill. My better half, Brittany, is a teacher at Linglestown Elementary. I graduated from Millersville University with a degree in economics and finance, and then attended law school at night at Widener on Progress Ave. During my time at Widener, in the last year or so, and in the last year or so of my uh, time at Millersville, I worked as a logistics and financial specialist for the United States Army, as a civilian in the foreign military sales program for the Afghanistan National Army, and Afghanistan National Police, handling, as I'm sure you can imagine, complicated multi-million dollar contracts for the government. Now that you know a little bit about me, I'd like to spend the rest of my time discussing the areas that will be my primary focus during my tenure as a school board director. First and foremost, if I was elected, the kids of this district would be at the forefront of each and every decision that I make. The kids are the sole reason why a school district exists, and I personally believe that we as a school board have to ensure that there is a voice for the most vulnerable in this society, and I intend to do just that for our students. You know, actually, as I was preparing for tonight, I tried to develop some real examples for what I wanted to say, which then I remembered what my wife and I were doing just a few days ago, Sunday night, after a long weekend of campaigning. For those of you unfamiliar, PSSA testing is this week in fourth grade, which the grade my, my wife teaches uh, is a PSSA grade. So after spending the weekend out in the community, we ran home Sunday started and started to prepare for this week's testing. We picked up some breakfast bars and other snacks that our kids, so that our kids that missed breakfast would have something to eat before testing. We also worked on getting documents printed on our color printer at home so that she can give each kid nice little motivational reminders throughout the week to help boost their confidence. None of that is part of her job as an educator, but it's the extra step that we take in our household to ensure that students are set up for success and it would be the same approach I would take on the school board if I were elected. Next, let the teachers teach and administrators administrate. What I mean by that is this, I strongly believe that the school board is to be, to use an analogy, the captain of the boat and the teachers and administrators are doing the actual rowing of the boat. The board and its members should not be supplanting its experiences as educators for those that are currently rowing the boat in the classroom. There is a reason why the teachers are in the classroom and the board members are not. The same goes for curriculum. We have experts in this district that are employed to strategically implement curriculum. Here's a simple idea. Why not let those that are employed to teach and administrate just teach and administrate? If the board and its members are the ones who take over rowing the boat by getting involved in the day-to-day -day of the classroom and affecting how curriculum is implemented, who's left to make sure the boat is being steered in the right direction? Which actually brings me to my third point. One of the greatest presidents of all time, President Lincoln, uh, has remarked on more than a handful of occasions, a house divided against itself cannot stand. And I, th I think that's so important, I'm, I'm gonna repeat again, a house divided against itself cannot stand. The divisiveness that the board currently exhibits is disastrous. We very much have a divided house. If the board cannot act with civility and stand together as a single united voice with adequate level of decorum and respect, we very much, um, the entire house of cards is bound to collapse sooner than later. The school board and its members need to be steering the boat in the same direction or we'll end up getting nowhere but lost out at sea. If I am elected, I intend to mend those gaps that currently exist and I intend to do so by exhibiting a healthy level of civil discourse. I think it just takes approaching each issue with an open mind and, and ears and offering some common sense solutions. Finally, as I noted before, I'm an attorney practicing state and local tax litigation. 
This district, as you know, faces a very serious issue year in and year out with our tax dollars. I can tell you this, I hate those property tax payments just as much as you do, and I spend as a tax litigator a majority of each and every day of my life advocating on behalf of our firm's clients to reduce their tax liabilities to the extent the law allows. Being successful at just that is how I collect a paycheck now and how I intend to collect a paycheck for the rest of my professional life. If I were elected, I would take those same advocacy skills and technical expertise of the tax world, mix it with the experience I have handling complicated multi-million dollar contracts and do the same thing for this district. No one sitting here tonight can tell you that they make a living by reducing tax bills, and I think that fact alone, if you're at all concerned about your yearly property tax bill, warrants a vote for me. Thank you for your time and consideration. I'd be happy to answer any questions in a few moments back at our table. Thank you. Thank you.